Hey there guys, I'm here with you with another really special review. This is the final one of the Alpine beers I have had traded for. And this is Alpine Nelson. I guess I might have saved quote unquote the best for last. Um, this is a single hop IPA, I believe, of Nelson Savon hop, a New Zealand hop, and then it also has an addition of rye. So the beer comes in a really interesting color. It's hazy and has a nice white fluffy head, but it comes in this really bright, like lemony a yellow color, almost like a um, a lemon drink Gatorade or something. It uh, doesn't, I guess it doesn't have too much caramel malt because it's really just bright and yellow, almost like a, there's wheat in there, like a wheat IPA or something. So yeah, let's get the aroma on this. Yeah, it's just sweet, sweet tropics, sweet grapefruit. I think the predominant aroma is grapefruit, citrus, um, a bit of citrus peel, uh, a gentle bready malt in there. Yeah, not. Too, I mean, it's it, it it's 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 nice and sweet. It's really hoppy. It's nice. A gentle bready malt in there. Really, do you really do smell that? There's malt uh, behind this beer. So, yeah, let's get the flavor on this. Wow, this beer is extremely complex. It is a hophead's dream. Um, first off, I'll come through. Just explain the theme of this beer. It's very light. It drinks super easily. It has wonderful flavor, uh, uh, tr fruit flavors and complexity with a gentle bready malt, but not and not anything um, bold or you know substantial. This is you know like t something towards an uh, unbalanced beer, super hoppy, quite dry in the finish. So that's the general theme. But the flavor specifically, you're getting floral notes in the front. You're getting some sweet melons, grapefruit. In the middle, you're getting some spice, a tinge of that spicy rye. But you really have to look for it. Without knowing, you might not pick it out. On the finish, you're getting lots of grapefruit pith, you know, that dry, stringent, just like, you know, drying note. Um, it's There's a bit of bitterness, a bit of pine resin, but mostly grassiness and, and a grapefruit pith, I believe, on the finish. A bit of white wine character. Uh, again, with the Nelson Savon hop, you're going to get that. It's not specifically tasting like white wine, but it has that characteristic of some kind of astringency, some kind of acidity that comes from white wine, some of that drying. It's just a general um, layer that, you know, plays around with the beer. In general, this is not a very pungent, um, sweet beer in the sense that it has like very obvious fruit flavors. It's more of that balance, that, that layering of flavors, that, that grassiness is in there, that floral's in there, the fruits are in there, the citrus, the tropical, and then the uh, like gentle malt. Um, that carries the beer, but a bit of honey sweetness that 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 uh, has uh, that with the, that the malt gives off. But in general, with that white wine character, it's a really interesting beer because it you could keep tasting it and keep picking at it, and that's really wonderful and experience with the beer. So it's saying that um, this is probably one of the best IPAs I've ever had, and I believe that you know beers you should rate beers hundred if they deserve hundred. Um, there's no such thing as you know, a beer that you know, um, you know there's there's nothing in beer that. There's no reason why not you should you shouldn't give a hundred to beers if you really do believe they're that good to you So this is really just fantastic. I mean, I'm gonna give this hundred. So until next time guys I hope you guys have more hundred rated beers for yourself personally Let me know what they are and until next time guys cheers and drink more